Hey all lizards, coming at you with something new, as is tradition on the channel when I see something new and interesting that has caught my eye. I want to share it with all of you, and this was one such game that I heard of recently. Uh, it's called Slay the Spire. Um, not since They Are Billions, which is relatively recent, but not since They Are Billions have I seen a game come up and kind of go, mm, bye. Um, it's a totally different feel than They Are Billions if you were expecting something along those lines. Best described as a roguelike, card-based battle thing-ish. Ah, it's really hard to explain, but basically, it's a crap ton of fun. Um, I've been, I had one uh, level, and you'll understand when I get into the game. I played maybe 20 minutes of this to kind of get a feel for the mechanics, and it's already quite, quite interesting. Um, so I'm gonna, as you can see, I have a run to abandon. I'm gonna quickly do that. Yes, click again to confirm. I would like to abandon the run. Yes, okay, good. So we're going to start fresh for you. Um, I had a pretty good run going, but, you know, I want to start new things for the channel. Now, this, mind you, this isn't early access. It's early access as of the month of January. So um, early build. So obviously things are buggy, maybe. Haven't caught any big ones yet. Uh, things are subject to change, etc., etc., etc. But I think it's easier to show rather than tell about this game, except for the fact that it's hell addictive. Um... I watched a little bit of it, I played a little bit of it, and I'm just itching for more. So let's get into it, shall we? Uh, let's play, and you'll see how this works quickly. So I haven't unlocked any new characters, um, completing a single run, and then here, unavailable in early access. So we can unlock one new one. But we start with this guy, the Ironclad. So you can start with a particular tune, uh, and the idea is basically you're climbing this tower and trying to kill bosses and survive in a roguelike style. So he's 80 HP base, 99 gold to start. The remaining soldier of the Ironclad sold his soul to harness demonic energies. <laughs> yes, indeed. At the end of combat, you heal 6 HP. So, something to think about. And 6 unlocks remaining. 0 to 300 to next unlock. Don't know what that means, but we'll figure it out. So let us embark. Just like in Darkest Dungeon. I think I'm going to be quoting a lot of Darkest Dungeon here. You know, <laughs> it's kind of one of those games. Level 1 Exordium. What is this? Greetings, I am Meow. This is new. Hey, choose. Oh, my first room has something in it. Okay, this is... I've never seen this before. Um, that's fascinating. Hey, ugly whale thing. So, room 1 already, you have a choice. Last time I was here, it was a fight. This is apparently in a random event. I've never seen this before. Granted, I've played 20 minutes of this game. So you can choose a card to obtain, which is what your basis of your combat actions are. You can obtain a random relic, which is kind of a constant um, thing that stays with you. So Burning Blood is your starting relic, which is um, 6 HP at the end of combat, which I do kind of like. I can lose half my health to gain 250, which is quite a lot of the early game. Or I can lose my characteristic and gain a random boss relic. And of the ones that I've seen, because I did get to one of the bosses on the 20 minutes I've played, um, they do have some downsides, so getting a random one's kind of scary. I'm going to probably try to go for a random common, no downside early enough. I could probably swing this, honestly, if I'm greedy, but I'm going to try this and see if I can survive. What do we get? Granted. Ancient tea set. Whenever you get to a rest site, next time it starts with a... Yeah, it's not too exciting. Oh, do I get a free one like that? That was kind of random. Um, all right. Well, here we are. We can kind of look at how the this particular level looks like. Um, there's the boss up there. There's rests no matter where we go. And I want to kind of take a path where there's a, a this is a mystery path, a lot of question marks. So that's basically unknown merchant. You can buy stuff. Treasure is treasure. Rest you can rest or upgrade a card if you're healthy. An enemy is there and an elite is there. Now elites are tougher, but they give you better rewards. So it's not like Darkest Dungeon where your best move is to more or less avoid dangerous enemies and avoid most combat. Here you can kind of get um, get some good stuff if you go there. So if we go on the left. We only get one elite can't really go any other way. I kind of want to get two if I can. They get drop decent relics sometimes. So there's one there. I kind of want to hit that guy. And if I go up here, I can snag another elite here after like three normal battles. That might be tiring. So I might want to actually hit this elite, come up. There's no elites here, right? No. I want to hit that relatively early elite, but I think I can swing it. Um... Merchant or fights? I think like fights would be better, but this might be really tiring before I hit the elite. That's really interesting. But I'll hit the elite, probably go here and hit this elite, and then we'll have a rest, and then we can kind of go up that way. All right, we'll try it that way. So no matter what we're doing, you know, so the question is, do I want to go? Well, I want to start here, so let's start there. This is the first fight. Hello, you creepy man. 
Creepy crow man. Creepy cultist. So you also kind of know what they're going to do so you can plan a little bit. It doesn't tell you exactly what they're going to do, but uh, it's going to tell you a little bit. So this enemy intends to use a buff. Okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to start... Since he's not going to do damage to us, we don't need to block damage. We're going to go ahead and do 8 damage and apply vulnerability, which is going to take more damage from attacks. So we'll take Bash. We're going to bash him in the face. And you have 3 energy here, so you can each of these has an energy cost. So you're kind of limited by a number of things. If you think about a deck building perspective, you're limited by your options. You're also limited by mana, effectively. And you're limited by yeah, those two things primarily. And don't die. So think about that. Action economy and mana is more or less what you're limited by. I like to call it mana because, you know, way too much time spending playing magic. Anyway, we're going to bash him. Boom, 8 damage, which does more than your basic strike. And you're defending your strike or your basics. You want to upgrade these as soon as humanly possible. Um, he takes 50% more damage from attacks for 2 turns, which is cool. Um, I think each of weakness is 25% more. So we're going to go ahead and use the advantage and do some extra damage to strike. And as you can see, it changes to 9. We're going to do that. He's not going to hit us. We want to take advantage of that vulnerability as much as possible. We'll end that turn. Enemy turn starts. He does an incantation, which does what? What does this do? At the end of its turn, gains three strength. Disconcerting. We want to kill this guy quickly. So our goal here would be to maximize damage. We'll only do six, and we heal that by the end of the combat. So I'm actually going to go kind of ham on this guy. As much strike damage as possible. And we're going to defend just for one. And that's fine. That's all our mana. We're gonna let they go. And when you run out of your deck here, start with 10. This gets reshuffled in. So, boom. Beautiful. Now he's got strength. He has 9 damage per turn. So the whole idea here is to kill him quickly. Can we kill him? 18. On the dot, we can. And go ahead. 6, 6, and oh yeah, 6. We're matched. You silly punk. Well, the game has a pretty good sense of humor, BT dubs. So what we got here, we get 20 gold for winning a combat. We get Elixir, which is a potion. We can exhaust status and curse. So status effects are things that can happen to you, like wounds that go into your hand and you can't play them, but they basically limit your options. And this gets rid of all of them from your hand. Uh, it's not the craziest thing. Curses are permanent, though, and using an Elixir to clear curses would be great, because otherwise you kind of have to pay for it. We got 20 more gold, and we got a card. So here's kind of how you build your combat abilities. So what do we have here? Draw three cards. You cannot draw any additional cards this turn. So again, this opens options, which I like, and it's free. Uh, apply three to vulnerable to all enemies. This is pretty good in that it does 75% less damage and one level of vulnerable roll, so that's 50% more vulnerable. Um, nice. And, you, and exhaust means you can't use it for the rest of the game. I mean, rest of the uh, the combat. That's interesting. Either Shockwave or Battle Trance, because I do like... I do like Battle Trance, because it's free and it gives you more options. Because I'm a total action economy whore, I'm going to grab Battle Trance. Um, I want to do that, kind of keep my options open. So we're going to go... So we can either take some more fights. Uh, is there going to be a merchant on the way anywhere here? If I take this way? No, there's going to be no merchants unless I take him now in this direction. It kind of sucks, but I do want to kind of sit by the merchant, see if I can buy a decent card or something. There's really not a lot of merchants this way. The problem is here, I gain a lot of gold and a lot of fights, but then I can't spend it on anything because <laughs> I'm SOL at that point. Is there another way to go, maybe? I, I can wheel my way. Is there a merchant in any direction up here? No. It's pretty low. Usually there's more merchants on the map, so we're kind of going to to wiggle my way back this way, but I'd avoid the elite, and I don't want to avoid the elite. Alright, screw it. We'll go this way, we'll try to hit the merchant, we'll try to hit the elite that way. I hope we're getting to a couple fights at least. What's in here? Oh dear, he looks friendly. Uh, strange blue humanoid with a golden helm, question mark. <laughs> For Dazir, the huge smile. Hello friend, I am Cleric. Are you interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. Okay. Heal 20, don't need it. 50 gold, remove a card from your deck. I don't want to because I don't have anything negative yet. Alright, we'll just go. Thanks man. Just, I mean, I have nothing for him to do, so this kind of sucks. Alright, well, we're going to go to the merchants. So I want to hit the elite. Having one fight before elite's not great. kind of wanted more combat options. Hey, man. So here we go. We can buy some stuff. Sometimes they're on sale. Let's see. So there's some relics you can buy. Centennial Puzzle. Lose HP in combat, draw three cards. That's pretty sick. Mummified Hand when you play Power. Random card in your hand costs zero. That's pretty dope. And Unceasing Top. Damn, all these are so dope, but I don't have anything that I can use it with. Always six poison, elixir, and elixir. Nothing too exciting. What's on sale? Searing blow. Yes, this is actually quite good. Like especially when things block, you gotta do big damage quickly. I'm probably gonna buy that. 
and apply one weak and vulnerable and 13 damage upper that's pretty good panacea lose all frail vulnerable and weak i do kind of like that one too because it's free but i can't afford these things i need more options i'm going to fight the elite early uh, please draw two cards place a card and exhaust i'm probably gonna go with these two actually i'm gonna grab searing strike for sure and i'm probably gonna grab uppercut this is the only time i'm gonna be at a merchant anyway so they're a little expensive not the kind of stuff I would normally go for, but um, I'm desperate for options in combat, so kind of went that way with my money. Among the stone and boulders, you know this intricate, large blue statue. Only a wing. You find gold wing. Maybe there's more inside. Pray. Remove a card from your deck. Lose seven HP. I want to kind of keep my options open. And replacing my basic strikes would be good, I guess. But this is really like for negatives. Destroy. I'll take the money. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to be able to spend it on anything, but whatever. So. Oh, random fight. There we go. So sometimes you get fights. This is good. I'm actually kind of happy about this. You're going to do 11 damage to me. So we can apply... What can we do? We can go ahead and apply weak and vulnerable. We'll also do 12 damage. I'm going to deal 13 damage and apply one weak and one vulnerable. So that way he'll do less damage to me. And I'll take a defend. He only does 8 damage now, so I'll take only 3 at the end of this. And see how that rolls. I kind of don't like this thing. But that'll be good for the last fight, I guess. That'll help me for the boss. It'll give me extra energy early. So what is this? You intend to use a bl to block and use a buff. Well, two can play it. That came. Um, I'm going to go ahead and deal eight damage and make him vulnerable. Boom. And we'll do some strike for nine. Okay, what is this buff going to be? I'm curious. Mm-hmm. He's stronger now. And he blocked. I'm going to go ahead and draw three, so I have more options. Perfect. Okay. Didn't really draw much interesting, but at least it means the rest of this deck will be stronger. So I'll do eight again and make him take vulnerable, because it won't make sense. This will cost one block, and then I can do 12 and nearly kill him. Or I can do eight, leaving him at 11. No, either way, I don't kill him. And block expires at the end of the turn, so I can't kill him clean, which sucks. That basically nullifies... I can do 9. Oh, wait a minute. I can do 9 on my strike? Oh, shit. So that means I can do... Yeah, 27 minus 13. Minus... No, 27 minus 6 is 21. Okay, I can kill this guy. <laughs> Done. Just trying to plan this out too much. Murder the dude. See, basic strikes are sometimes good. Alright, 17 gold. We'll add a card to my deck. Uh, ooh, these are really good. Um, this one not so much, I think. But seeing red is great. You exhaust it, but you do get an early energy boost, plus one. And then cleave is really strong. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna grab seeing red. I'm about to fight an elite, and I'm guessing it's gonna be one big dude. That might be better than killing a lot of little dudes quickly. I'm gonna fight two elites before resting, though. That's gonna be brutal as hell. Alright, well, we'll do the best we can. Elite time. Oh, never mind. Should've got cleave. What does that do? Artifact. Negates one debuff. Okay, does it attack for eight? So I gotta kill these things quickly. I'm gonna get murked. I'm gonna do a lot of damage shit. Let's turn. No more draw. Okay, this is fine. We'll go seeing red. Give me options. I gotta murk these things super fast. Uh, I think I just gotta maximize kills here. Mm, I would defend here, but I'm going to be taking gobs and gobs of damage regardless. This is not great. I don't like being in this position. But at least we started. This is going to hurt like hell, though. I might die here. Should have gotten cleave. Crap. Cleave would have been so much better. Ugh, this hurts like hell. Gotta, gotta hit one of these guys down. They're all going to attack. Okay, what I can do is probably get 13 damage apply one weakened vulnerable. I'm doing this just to kill this one. I'll try to defend off the next damage, but right now I think I have to go ahead and start murking more of these guys. It's a numbers game right now. I'm on the tail end of receiving pain. Ow. I almost at half health. Now I'm at half health. That's not great. Jeez, really not good. What are you doing? You're going to negative effect on me. Okay, so what's going to go ahead? Uh, Searing Blow is... Thir this is 13 though, right? This is better than Searing Blow. One vulnerable. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do maximum damage here because 
but we can't do anything else. They're gonna debuff me in some way. I need to kill this guy and then defend. That's my goal here. Days unplayable ethereal. Okay, so that's this is a, these are debuffs. So we have now four unplayable cards in our hand. None we drew, drew none of them, which is great. So I'm gonna kill this guy straight up and defend for five blocks. So this will inhale five of the damage, only take three. So that's okay. But you'll start seeing me draw those cards once it gets reshuffled in. I'm gonna probably no, there's days now. I'd rather have options. I'm gonna take battle trance. Got more dazed up. Okay, so he's gonna do another negative effect. He's gonna try to daze me some more, I guess. So we can do 12, and again, no damage incoming, so we're not gonna block here. And we're gonna go ahead and do some more damage to that guy. Beautiful. Never wears off, and we roll up. More days, yeah. Figured. That's fine. I've wasted draw through this, so this is okay. So we can defend, defend everything, and then strike. So at this point, I think we can mitigate how much damage we actually take. So I'm actually, whereas I would love to do this. Um, well, if I do weak. Bring down to six, I think only one damage, but there's no need. I'm gonna just tank this one out. Two defends and a strike. For the turns where I can take no damage, I think I will. Beep. Yep, very good. And that goes away at the end of turn, so you can't stack blocks. I mean, they probably thought of that, obviously. I'll take Battle Trance. That card's really handy, actually. Gives me exactly what I need. That was the right decision. See? Card advantage, man. Just having options. So important. Because it's great. I draw through my deck, take what I want, and keep going. I do appreciate that. Let's see. Can I get this guy dead this turn? Searing Blow. 12 damage. Yep, I'll take you. Nice. So we survived that. I was getting really hairy at first. Swift Potion, draw three cards. That's neat. Viewing your draw pile, the cards are now shown in order. Ooh, it's a relic. Wow, really? Sick. Not sure what that means exactly. No description. All right, well, I'll take it. Swift Potion is the drawing. And add a card to my deck. Offering, lose four HP. Gain two energy, draw three cards, and exhaust. I don't like the HP loss. Though that could be, this just feels like a black magic card right now, which is pretty cool. Shrug it off, gain eight block, draw a card. Attack, deal nine damage, place a card from discard on top of your draw. Do you mean I get to pick one? Place a card? Is that one of my choice? That's ambiguously worded. Uh, while I, this could be useful, I want to avoid taking damage. I don't have a lot of things that heal me right now. I think shrug it off would be good, because I don't have very good blocking abilities. Let me grab a block. I did a lot of damage. I'll grab a block. Okay, so that was fine. I'm going to try to use this ability to heal up a little bit. Yeah, there's the... Oh, there is a... Okay, good. Jeez, I missed that resting place. Good. We'll be able to rest. So, next place, no real choice. We have a fight. Bruin. What are these things? These are louses. Oh, I remember these things. If you don't kill it right off the bat, um, it rolls up and gains three block. So, you need to do a lot of damage to it. So, I'm going to take Battle Trance... Basically, big hits are stronger. Uh, seeing red, please. And I can searing blow this thing right off the bat to kill one of them. Only got 10 HP. Dead. He's going to do 6 HP to me, huh? So I'm going to kind of cheese this a bit. He's going to get 5 block now. Okay, that's all right. I'll cheese the defense. I killed one already. I'm in good shape. I don't want to take any damage. And I can use this fight to heal up to 49. <sighs> you cannot break my armor. All right, so he's going to do six. So this is another good idea for taking Shrug it off here. So we're going to take Uppercut, which it'll weaken him. And we'll do that. He's got five. He's one HP. Yeah, I can kill him. Sick. Goodbye. Beautiful. And we add a new card. We have four. Ooh. Costs one less each time you lose HP in combat. Deals 16 damage. Interesting. I kind of like that. Combust. End your turn. Lose one HP and deal four damage to all enemies. If I had something that healed me at the end of each turn, I might even go for that. Close line, deal 12 damage, apply 2 weak. I think for longer fights, this is going to be really useful. This seems pretty cool, too, though. Because weakness prevents me from taking damage, that might be useful. Uh -huh. Between blood for blood or close line. So we do take damage a lot in fights. Let me take blood for blood. I want to see how that works. Seems like a high risk, high reward card. Let's let's go, go a little ham on this. So either we take a fight or an unknown. Um, fights would be relatively simple in that sense. We'd get some gold and probably get another card. This one, we don't necessarily get that. But it could be something interesting. Uh, let's go... 
Because if I heal up off of this fight, I can use this to forge up a card. Let me take the fight. Or the unknown. Ah, screw it. I haven't seen a lot of unknowns. Let's see what this does. If I be more dependably positive. Purple fire spirits dancing around a large bonfire. Spirits toss small bones and fragments really much ability erupts each time. As you approach, the spirits all turn to expectantly offer. Receive a reward based on the offer. Um, a card to offer. Don't want it. Offer a card. Kind of like my cards. I guess I'll take one of the defends out. So I have, a, or should I take one of the basic strikes out? Yeah, let me take a basic strike out. Uh, I feel like that'll be okay. Yeah. They ignore me. Disappointing. All right, I'm not sure if that was. Huh. Whatever. I'm gonna take this campfire and go to this elite. So treasure chest, please. Yes. Gambling chip relic. Discard any number of cards and then draw that many. Okay, that could be cool. I wonder if I get to choose. So we'll go here. I'm gonna assume I'm gonna be able to heal off of these fights mostly. And go to the campfire. Now healing would be nice, or I can smith. Smithing deck. Upgrade these guys. Upgrade the crap out of this potentially. I can upgrade any number of times. This can get even stronger. What would this look like if I upgrade this? Sixteen. Okay. Shrug it off gives me eleven block. Ooh, that's nice. Blood for blood gives me eighteen and less cost. Oh, that sounds like such a good idea. We're seeing red gain two exhaust, and seeing red is free, free. Um, wow, all these upgrades look so good. <laughs> they really do. This just does more damage, right? Yeah. No. Ugh. Bash was bash do ten and three vulnerable son of a bitch. That'd be a really good battle trance. Four cards. Yeah, that's almost too much. I think that's not a good upgrade. So either I risk not healing all the way. Do I have a healing potion? I don't have a healing potion of any sort. I have a lot of fights coming up. I do kind of want to upgrade this. Uh, or blood for blood. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and play cheesy mode and try to heal this. I'm going to heal up. I, I don't want to die here. There's a lot of fights before the elite. And if I take a bad one, it might end badly. That was probably not the right move. Ugh. All right, whatever. What are you? Split. When HP is at... Ooh, I didn't miss that. You're not going to start to replace. Like it, like it. He's attacking, so I need to defend... Probably gonna go ahead and get rid of the strike, maybe? No, I can use all of these, actually. I can use Battle Trance, but then Battle Trance will get me good options. Let's get rid of the basic strike for now. I need some defenses. Alright, confirm. Alright, I got an extra defend, which is kind of what I was hoping for, actually. You know, Battle Trance first. What do we got? Okay, Blood for Blood. We'll take some damage, that's fine. Oh, what is this? Oh, after the rest, we got five. Wow, we can do a lot of things this turn. Okay, let's go ahead and bash. I'm gonna go ahead and take defend, defend, take one damage and make blood for blood cheaper. And then we have seeing red. No, we'll not do that actually. We'll go ahead and hit this guy and we'll take a defend and not take any damage for now. That's fine. Good. I'll take damage eventually. Now, oh dear, wounds, that's a problem. Searing blow. What are you doing? You're gonna use a status. So two smaller slimes with current HP. Interesting. I wonder if they split in half for the HP or it's different. All right. Anyway, um, you're gonna do in status, so I don't need block. I can do this to gain a card. I think I should just do damage to son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. That's energy. Oh, we're out of energy. Okay, that's fine. So he should be. He's unknown. He's gonna split. Is that his turn? 25. No, they each have 25. Ooh, that's annoying. He's gonna do 10. God damn. All right, let's get some options here. Okay, what I'm probably gonna do... Ooh, defend. It's gonna, I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. Can I kill one of these guys in a turn? 12 and 12. Just not enough. Uppercut. That might do me just fine. You apply one weak and one vulnerable. If I can do this, I might not be able to get him. But I need to go ahead and try and kill this guy. <sighs> I can't do it. Okay. That's alright. Can't do it. I probably should have just defended. Um, if I couldn't kill him this turn. That's probably a mistake. Glad I healed, though. This would be a lot more stressful if I didn't heal. I think that was the right move. Okay, let's go ahead. So he's going to use a status. He's going to attack me and do a negative effect. Blood for blood is cheap now. So what I need to do... I need to... 
really want to play Blood for Blood, but I need to kill this guy, unfortunately. I don't have the options I like right now. I'm right, gonna bash him. That's almost a waste. To a negative effect. I could just go ahead and Blood for Blood this SOB. Deal 16. Kill him next turn. Let's go ahead and do this. Well, we can defend off. No, let's go ahead and do that. We'll take a defense. I don't know how bad these effects are going to be. It's probably going to be terrible. More wounds, fine. Lick and weakened. Okay, so I do less damage then for a turn. He needs to die. So we'll do four damage. Ooh, we don't do a lot of damage anymore. Thanks to the weakened. I'll take the shrug it off. That'll be fine. Give me what I need. It's just another strike. That's okay. We're going to be able to tank up all his damage. Glad I got the shrug it off. That's probably a good idea. Wound. Alright. Alright, now we're, now we're talking. And go blood for blood. Super cheap. Yeah, long fights that blood for blood is better. I think that was a cool, cool card. Ooh, regen potion. I like this. Ooh, yes, please. Without healing, that's good. Add a card to my deck. Thunderclap. Four damage and vulnerable to all. Deal damage equal to your current block. E I don't play very heavy block, so it kind of makes sense not to do that. Infernal Blade. Add a random attack. Cause zero exhaust. Mm. I'm going to go with Thunderclap, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go with Thunderclap. Okay, good. So remember what we're doing. We can resh reshuffle. Viewing your draw pile now. Show an order. Oh, I didn't use that last time. Maybe it'll tell me what I'm drawing, I suppose. So I do want to hit this elite up here. I'm going to go ahead and do this fight. Okay, Sport Cloud and Curl Up. So what does this mean? If I have this little frozen eye. Oh, what are we flipping out anyway? Thunderclap that would be good. Blood for Blood, Uppercut, Defend. I don't know what they're doing right now, so it doesn't help me. Blood for Blood definitely we're going to get rid of because we can't use it. Shrug it off is good. Thunderclap could be useful. That's That one shot's the Laos, so that'll be good. Defend. I'll probably do this in Uppercut, so I'm pretty okay with my options here. I'll confirm that for now. And what we got here? Ah, see this? This eye allows us to see our draw. So it goes in order. Strike. Before, I think this is randomized. So the next one we're going to pull is Strike, Seeing Red, Defend, Strike, Battle Trance. Not a great one to draw, but okay. So we're going to do what I said we're going to do, and that is we're going to go ahead, and what the hell is this? You are going to use a buff. Okay, so we can go ahead and kill the Laos in one shot. I'm going to Thunderclap you. Gives him vulnerable at least. We can't really use that, unfortunately. He's going to go off this turn. He's going to grow. Oh, it gets beefier. Okay, that's a little dangerous. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go Seeing Red. Go Battle Trance to draw off the rest. Got four. Four times six is twenty-four. Looks like a kill. Yep. One, two, a three, a four. Good fight. We gain six HP off of that. I like it. We in good shape. Poison potion. Apply six poison. See this? I'm not too keen on. I'm not getting curses anytime soon. Swift potion is probably not great because I have options to do this. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one and take the poison. The poison applies six poison. That's damage, right? Points you lose HP each turn, so basically the six damage over time. Not bad. Add a card to my deck. Draw two cards. Um, no, I'm okay. No. Yes, this is fan freaking tastic. Free damage. This is the sort of stuff I love to play. Oh, memories of magic and deck building. Free damage, even small, adds up over time, especially on a long fight. I like that. Very happy about getting anger. That's a really good card. And it keeps duplicating. Get more and more of them. And more of these bastards. What are you doing? We're going to start with Battle Trance. Makes sense. Defend. What did they do last time? Last time he buffed himself. He might be buffing themselves early. I'm going to gamble. <laughs> get it? Gambler's coin. Um, I'll take the vulnerable. I'll get rid of the defense. I might regret that decision. Let's try it. They're both going to attack. God damn it. So we're going to shrug it off for sure. Battle Trance. Okay. More options. Seeing red. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so we can do 13 damage and apply vulnerable. Blood for Blood's not going to work right now, so this goes vulnerable one weak. I do like that. Then I can do strike and then shrug it off in that order. I think so. That's probably a good move. So we're going to go uppercut you. Go 
gonna shrug off some of the pain, and we're gonna strike him. Almost dead. All right, it's fine. I really wish I had cleave. All these fights are multiples now. Kind of derpy. We're gonna take only two damage, which is fine. It's a good deal for having this many enemies. So we're still gonna be plus four for now. They're gonna buff themselves. Okay, so now it's our improvement. Oh, free action. Free action. So take four damage. Free action, baby. Oh, that gives me vulnerable. We just wait a minute. No. Why did I become vulnerable? When he attacked me, maybe? It doesn't say this makes me vulnerable. I'm not sure why I have the vulnerability. It must have been an effect that I didn't see. He's gonna use a buff, so we're just gonna go ham on this guy as much as we can. Searing Blow. I'm gonna go ahead and strike him. Basically, Searing Blow is just a bigger strike until you upgrade it. But the problem is it gets better with time, so I wanna get it early. But I haven't had a chance to upgrade yet, so. Hey, guess what? You did. Beautiful. So we actually gained health from that as well. Very nice. Um, feed. Deal 10 damage. Ooh. These are some neat things. Whenever you play and attack this turn, gain 4 block. That's cool. Deal 10 damage. This kills a non-minion enemy. I don't even know what that means. I guess an actual enemy that started the fight with my guess. Probably there's a summoner type class. Gain 3 permanent max HP exhaust. Fire breather. At the end of your turn, for each attack play this turn, deal 1 damage to all enemies. Huh. All these are really interesting. This seems really cool, though. I have feed, actually. Okay, elite time. Let's see. I'm going to try to save this potion for the elite fight. Elixir I'm not too keen on, but we'll see if we get a good potion after this. Oh, hi, buddy. You're the knobs here. What can he get? I don't even know what he does. So that's pretty good. So this is relatively well balanced. I'll get rid of one of the defense, I guess, for now. I'm going to buff himself. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, friend, I'm going to definitely uppercut you to the face. Don't fuss. He's weak and vulnerable. And this turns, we take as much of that as possible. Okay, what's he doing? He's pissed. In rage. What does this do? Whenever you play a skill, he gains two strength. He's going to attack for 14. And that would make him attack harder if I play this Heal. Oh, I see how this guy's gonna go. Well, Blood for Blood's gonna be good in this fight. Alright, well, I mean, Searing Blow is basically what Strike is, so we're just gonna have to. This is a damage race, straight up damage race. We should be play attacks at this point. Ow. Yeah, if I play skill, that he gets even stronger. I kinda don't wanna do that, because th these hits are gonna be even stronger. That's a skill. That's a skill. That's a skill. I can go ahead and just bash this guy. Have him deal more damage. And we don't really have a great choice here. Okay, that's fine. Three vulnerable will help. I just don't want to play skills to make this even worse. 14 per turn. Sucks, but... I, mean, I wonder if that's the right move. I feel like I'm getting too much. Okay, these are all attacks. So he's still vulnerable. We can probably do serious work on this guy. So what, 19? And anger gives me how many? Oh, he's still vulnerable, right? Just six. So I'm going to start with the free action. Good. More anger. All right. If I can use this as a kill shot, that'd be great. I can do this. I can use, I can use feed. Nice. Max HP three. And we actually gained HP from that. Nice play. I like it. Or Hulk, if you end your turn without blocking six block. Yes. I do this very often, so that's actually really good. And a new card. Dual wield. That's interesting. Hemokinesis. Lose 3 HP, deal 14 damage. Now, this combos with Rupture pretty well, I guess. Pick my card, but I don't have any HP loss cards, so it's not really useful for me. Dual wield could be cool, because attacker power could be neat. Hemokinesis. I don't like bleeding for damage, but maybe that'll combo with Rupture at some point. I don't really like any of these options. I'm not built around losing HP. Um, creating copy of an attack though. If I want a particular attack more, let's grab dual wield options, right? Okay, we're gonna go here, and I think with this HP, should I heal or should I just craft a card up? I think I'm gonna kind of go ham and try to always craft a card up. I haven't done any of this yet. What about this, feed plus deals 12 damage. No. Improving Anger is probably one of my big things. I also want to get Searing Blow better. I 
Here, I'm going to risk this a little bit. I'm hammer that up, because I can be upgraded any number of times. I don't know how many opportunities I'm going to have. Didn't rest fully. We're at 51 HP. That might have been a bad move. Could have gotten greedy. What is this now? Hexa Ghost. Interesting. Any card to replace? Definitely going to replace that. Not going to replace that. We'll leave these options available. All right, I'm going to confirm that then. Thunderclap. Enemies' intentions are unknown. Not attacking, though. Okay. Um, this is not going to help me right now because I don't have that many actions to play. So I'm going to Thunderclap first. Didn't react to it. Okay. I'm going to do that. Do Strike. That's not the best first hand. And defense that can help me because I have the Aura Halcom. So, see what he does. Come next anyway. Hmm. I'll be able to draw some more interesting things. So. What is this? Oh, Christ. Five damage. Six times. Are you serious? Holy shit balls. Shit guys. Are you kidding me? What's the damage with attacks? So these will do four damage six times. Jeez, this is going to straight up kill me almost. Well, depending or how come this only gives me 10 block. 10 damage kills. Ooh, wow, this is not uh, not a good place to be. Not a good place to be at all. So what's better? Uppercut, 13 damage, one weak, one vulnerable. I need the weak, I think, because I'm going to get hammered here. So three times six. Three damage six times 18. That's a lot better than it was. Feed is 10. This exhausts. I can't use this unless I never want to use it again. Or how come gives me that? So I'm just going to go ahead and use the vulnerability that I have. This could suck. I'm going to use these potions. He heals some more HP. Ow. God damn it. What is this? Deal 5 damage 2 times. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drink this because I need that. Apply the poison. Take an action. Okay, good. That's fine for now. Alright. So this is going to do 10 damage. I can shrug that off entirely, actually. Eight. Yeah, five damage two times. And then I can shrug that off completely because I need to heal up. Yes, we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and copy Searing Blow. Actually, I'm going to take this turn to copy. All right. Not going to be able to do any big hands at the moment, but that'll be for later. I'm copying it into your hand. That's good to know. What's that? Negative effect on you. Attack for six damage. And this does not look good. All right. Not a lot of good options here. Or Halcom covers that. So all I need to do is use all my actions on attacks. Anger. Anger. Strike. Strike. And strike. Or Halcom gives me six to block. Healing is helping. Seer, what's that do? Burn. Unplayable at the end of turn, take two damage. Oh, when it comes to my hand. Well, blood for blood is free. I knew they'd come in handy one of these days. What are you doing? You're gonna block and use a buff. Okay. Um, can we do what I want already? Three means uppercut, thunderclap, and blood for blood. Don't need to use battle trance at the moment, but I could give me some more options anyway. Let's just draw through. Seeing red. Well, there's your option. I want to use feed. Would seeing red help me? If I can do any damage, three is enough. For what I need to do here. Yeah, it's three enough. What I need to do here. So we're gonna apply the vulnerable and the weak. Yeah, we got the vulnerable on. Hit him with blood for blood, and we're gonna hit him with thunderclap. I guess I don't really want to feed. We're not vulnerable. She's vulnerable next turn. Okay, he's gonna buff himself. So I don't want this to get to the sixth one. I feel like I'm gonna get owned if that happens. And flame, strength. Hey, it's harder now. Great. Seven damage two times. Okay. Still weakened though, so that helps. Seven damage two times. Can I get a better defend card off of this from Lucky Burn? That sucks. Okay. So that did not help. 
Ugh. All right, we're going to hit this guy for six. Going to go ahead. I should probably keep doing this damage. We can invulnerable. I'm still healing a little bit here, but this is not going to be sustainable. Or Halcom gives me six block, so that burn is going to sting anyway. Might as well just go ahead and attack. At this point, I kind of need to get rid of my defense, because the Or Halcom is doing more. I need, unless I upgrade them effectively, I think that's what I'm thinking. Ouch. Ouch, my face and hands. Weakened wears off. He's going to do eight damage and attack a negative effect. Probably more burned is my guess. Okay, here I think the seeing red helped me. Two, one, blood for blood, and or Halcom. No, it doesn't help me actually at all. What a weird situation. He's still vulnerable, so let's go for blood for blood. It's free, effectively. Wow, we do damage, son. Uh, yep, it's fine. And strike. Okay, yep, that's all we're going to do. Generations off, so that's about as much HP as I'm going to have. This guy's scaring me, actually, with this amount of damage. Burn. I'm afraid of that. Yep. I can use the elixir to burn that off, though, actually, come to think of it. You're not vulnerable anymore, but now you can be? No. Bash applies vulnerable. As much as I want Searing Blow, I think increasing vulnerability from anger is going to help out a lot more. That might be wrong. But this will give me better long term. I think long term. Okay, he's getting there. He's vulnerable for two. Papa defend, but Orhalcom is better, so I'm just going to let it sit. No, it's kind of, I hate not having appropriate actions here. It's going to sting. Oh, God. All right. Took a bit, took a bit. You can attack. This is nasty. Can we kill him this turn? We can dual wield. This is what? This guy might be able to kill me with this, actually. Fuck, he might be able to kill me with this. If I don't dual wield, or if I don't shrug it off. I don't have enough attack damage on this turn. Oh, dearie me. I can use this to feed, potentially. I'm going to take this, though. I think I need to draw some better. For now, I don't have options. Defend. Well, I can defend... 18 of the 30 plus damage as well. So, ooh, god. I should be doing 42 here. So he would kill me unless I'm very careful. If I dual wield feed and do 10 while he's vulnerable, that probably will help me out. Or do I defend most of the damage? Shit, I don't know. I think I'm gonna try to dual wield feed. Try to use a feed here because I don't really have another choice. Yeah, if I had an extra attack, this would be great. If I had an anger right now, it'd be over, but I don't. That's a really bad draw. Let me survive, shit. Jesus. Lots of burns. Okay, we're going to use the elixir for this. But we didn't draw any, and now you're almost dead. Now you're dead. That was a tough freaking fight, people. The ghost. Yikes. Alright, add a card to my deek. Well, these aren't that great. Lose 4 HP. I don't know, fan. Reaper. Ooh, heal. That sounds good. And whenever a card's exhausted, draw a card. And that's removed until end of combat, so that keeps. Powers are nice, they kind of stay. And a couple of exhaust cards. I think we take Reaper, though. That seems like a great idea. Alright, proceed. We have finished the first part of the Spire, and here's our chest reward question card. On card reward screen, choose from four instead of three. That seems dope. Calling bell, obtain three curses and three relics. That seems like not a good plan. Tiny house, obtain one potion, gain 30 gold. Raise HP, makes HP by five, and obtain one card. It's a little bit of everything. That could be powerful if we find a way to remove curses. But this is like long term, I'll get better cards as options. So I mean, a lot of these have, like, interesting things. This is just, like, silly, I think. It's either this one or this one. Probably go with the question card, because it's just the beginning, and this will give me a lot of options late game. Or moving through, assuming I don't die, like, the next fight. Yeah, I'll grab with the question card. Why not? 
Proceed. That was level one. It's level two. The City of Doom. Can I'll catch you next time. Hope you're enjoying this one. I'm having a blast with this game, by the way. It's called Slay the Spire. It is in early access. You can find it on Steam. I'm not being paid for this. I just really enjoy it. I have a nurse till next time. Till then.